What's good, y'all? So today I got y'all my new and improved seven foot demigod. One thing about me, I'ma make the most rarest build that nobody uses that will always dominate the game. This build is an easy 30 plus every game. Like there is no center that can guard this build at all. So I have a 75 close shot. The reason why I have a 75 close shot, so you can get masher, fearless finisher, and fast switch on silver. Okay, for your layup, the 70 is really the sweet spot for your layup. And I think you still get Joel and B layup package with 70. So if you have a 75 close shot and then you have a 70 layup, that's really kind of a good sweet spot to be in. Like I still finish acrobatically. I still make a lot of floaters, a lot of crazy circuit shot layups with a 70 layup. And as y'all can see, I think I got a lot of those in the clips. Like y'all will be able to see it. if y'all didn't know. Giannis and Dwight Howard got like two of the most broken dunk packages for big men. So, so that 86 driving dunk and that 75 center dunk is important. Now me personally, I really don't feel like you need over a 75 standing dunk. But if so, if you feel like you need over a 75 standing dunk, all you gotta do is take your post control down from a 94 or a 95, wherever it's at, and put it on your standing dunk. All right, for your shooting, all you want to do is bring your three-pointer to a 92. With your mid-range, man, I hit like a 50-something percent covered mid-range fadeaway. So you really don't need a high mid-range on this game to still be dominant. Like, you can hit fades consistently with a 70-something mid-range. So all you want to do is put midi magician like on silver or gold. Okay, now gold limitless range is OP. That's the reason why you had a 92 three-pointer. And I will make a video to show y'all exactly how OP Limitless Range is. Like, Limitless Range is probably the most broken badge on the game, especially for a center because it brings the center all the way out the paint. So if you got a center, they can't rebound. You know centers, they got paintitis. So if they can't sit there and rebound, they gonna get mad. Like, that's why on this build, I was able to drop like 45 points in the first half just off hand threes. There is a secret to hitting limitless range every single position. Like there's a secret to hitting uh, from the logo every position. I'll make sure I put it in one of my next videos too. All right, when it comes to the playmaking, we all know Joel Embiid is not a bad passer, but he's not the best passer. So I went with a 60 pass accuracy. And on current gen, a 60 pass accuracy is actually good. Like you can actually get a triple double like every game with a 60 pass accuracy. You can really get it, you can really get away with a 40 pass accuracy on current gen. So a 60 is actually pretty decent. A 65 ball handling for a big man, you probably won't really get ripped for real. On top of that, you actually unlock quite a few dribble moves. And you for surely want the Joel and B's dribble style. That's the fastest dribble style on the game for a big man. For your defense, all you want to do is move your block all the way to a 93. Your offense will rebound to a 70. Your defensive rebound to an 80. Joel B, he's also not one of the most dominant rebounders in the league, but he's but he still averaged like a double double though. And with this build, for some reason on this game, if you put on rebound chaser on bronze and have like vice grip on like silver, you still gonna be snatching boards like you had rebound chaser on gold. So having an 80 rebound is really a good sweet spot for your rebounds. The reason why you don't really need perimeter defense is because you have a 61 speed plus with gen rat that's a 65 speed then you have a 74 acceleration plus with gen rat that's a 78 acceleration so so at the center position you'll be moving faster than most guards and forwards and you also get bully with the 74 strength and you will catch a lot of bully animations just because a lot of people don't put strength on their build for the vertical, you really don't need it on current gen for some odd reason. And when you get your extra badge points, make sure you at least throw like three or four on your playmaker. So when it comes to your takeover options, these two options right here will make you like completely unguardable. Like when you have these two takeovers activated, no one will be able to guard you at all. If I was to go any other option for the takeovers, it would be rim and post score and take. But that's going to be it for today's video. Make sure y'all like, comment, subscribe. And I'll be at y'all with another banger very, very, very soon. I'm out of here.